Welcome everybody to Raw Boxing TV. Two a day. Here's the second video of the day. And like I have said before, better late than never. Let's go ahead and talk about this fight that I, I just really watched today uh, because I didn't have time to watch it when it did actually happen. Uh, William Monroe Jr. versus Brian Vera. Uh, it was a pretty interesting fight. Brian Vera or Brandon Vera, whatever his name is, was supposed to be uh, the test for Moreau Jr. Now you guys might say, well, what are you talking about? Vera's coming off of two loss, one of them contra controversial versus Chavez in a knockout versus Gabe on the KB BKB, whatever that tournament's called. Well, you know what? William Moreau Jr. is an up and coming prospect. Brian Rivera has a lot of experience, been in there with some of the best of the division, right? And William Monroe is not being called, you know, the best of the division or anything like that. So therefore, I don't have a problem with him using a fighter like Brian Rivera um, as a stepping stone. Now, I would have a problem when they put a belt around his waist that says he's the guy in the world. To, to fight, you know, and then he's fighting these bombs like, you know, example, Santa Cruz, uh, who has a WBC and fought a rank number, uh, rank number 32 guy who had been knocked out by some sparring partner. You know, then I have a problem, but not in situations like this. Um, this video, uh, one of my subscribers asked me if, um, you know, how do we Cubans do it? Like, with them, if if uh, if you're born here, then they don't consider you uh, Mexican or something like that. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't know how Mexicans do it. Well, I do know, but I you know I don't really care how they do it. But with us Cubans, this is how it works. If you go to Cuba and you are an American of Cuban descent, father and mother and you go to Cuba, to them in Cuba, you are Cuban. They don't call you American uh, or nothing like that. Or they might call you American and might be in a joke way, ah, este es americano, but they, you're Cuban to them. To us here in America, to us Cubans here in America, if you're born here from Cuban descendant, you, you Cuban. If you have anything related to Cuban in you, to us, you are Cuban. We don't discriminate or we don't make you any lesser. So William Monroe, yes, be proud of being black American, but we're also proud to call you a Cuban, period. I hope that answers the question to the subscriber that asked me that. Um, I don't know how the, you know, how any other ways to put it other than the ways I have seen it, other than the way I am with those that are Cuban Americans. That's just how we are, you know, you, we ain't gonna be like, no, you're not from Cuba, you're not Cuban. You got a little bit of something in you, you Cuban. Let's get into the boxing game now. Uh, William Monroe, and I'm gonna talk about him because again, as I did on the Amir Imam uh, section of the video this morning, he is the guy we will be seeing more of. Brandon Vera, unfortunately, is getting into the state of his career where he's gonna have to sit down and think of of, of what's up, you know, Twitter's going crazy. By the way, follow me on Twitter at Raw Boxing TV, link below. Uh, you know, um, Monroe Jr. has a very, uh, doesn't have an undefeated record. Uh, he lost a split position versus a guy that uh, was did not have a very impressive record. Uh, he was on the floor on that fight, but then again, not everybody's gonna have a smooth sailing to the top. There's an old saying that says, if the mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb it. Now you take that for what it's worth. But anyways, he has positioned himself now to where he's ranked number three. And, you know, skill-wise, he possesses a lot of skills def defensively now. Let's get into the de defensive uh, part of it. Uh, there were some things I did not agree upon this fight. Maybe he did it because of the type of opponent he had in front of him. 
Maybe he did it to make the fight just a little more exciting. I don't know. Um, take for example, this here. Again, Twitter, I'm sorry. <laughs> this here. I don't agree with that defense. I don't care how much speed you got on your upper body movement. I just don't agree with it. Remember, this is the sport where the, the shot you don't see coming is the one that could easily end your night. Therefore, if Willie wants to remain in this style, I don't have a problem. Now, when, it, when we talk about his defense, what I would like to do is see him just line himself just a little more, right, to where it doesn't affect him to shoot a jab or a right hook. But this hand, I don't want it here. I want him to create an optical illusion wall when it comes to his defense. What do I mean by an optical illusion wall? What do I mean? It's sort of like a confusing thing to his opponent. Instead of bringing his hand in front of him, which will make logical sense to your eyes, we don't want to do that because it's not necessary. We got that shoulder here. That optical illusion, when he brings that to the corner, when he drops it down the corner of his eye, right here. Why? Because if they come with a hook, check. If they come with a straight, check. And you got that shoulder. So now you're gonna have an opponent. If you notice how little room I'm giving my opponent to work with, right here. So little, because he's gonna be like, okay, I got a little opening here, but he can just either tap it, bring the shoulder up, move. However, he can just block it. But if I bring a check hook, or if I bring a hook, he's constantly grabbing it. I do not wanna see a fighter, just no matter how slick it is, move around the ring with his hands just drop down, you know? Because what you're gonna do is, eventually, there's gonna be the guy that's gonna time you and might wobble you, drop you, even knock you out. Speed, because this is a lot of speed. Power, I think he has more power than what his record shows. However, his style of fighting does not allow for us or for him to give us a lot more knockouts. I think if he was to sit a little more in his shots, you might see an increase of power. But he is a fighter that's constantly on his toes. Therefore, he, when he throws a shot, he's automatically thinking, of, I'm gonna hit you, and as soon as I feel that impact, I'm gonna move away. Therefore, his body does not allow him to flushly deliver that impact, because he, all he wants to do is boop, and move out, right? That happens so often on fighters that fight off their toes. If he was to sit down a little more in his shots, I believe that William Monroe would show a lot more power, would deliver more knockouts. But then again, listen to me, if you see this video, we don't need your knockouts. We need your victories. A W is a W, regardless of what the haters say. You're gonna be hated on because you're gonna be hated on. That's just part of this sport. Uh, so you just focus on that W. And that goes to any up and coming boxer. Focus on the W because they cannot deny you if you keep winning. They might say you're boring. They might say you run, which is one of the most magnified, disgusting comment out there. You know, that has no base to hold on, you know. But guess what? One thing they can't say is that runner is losing because the one thing they're going to say is that runner keeps beating the hell out of all of my warriors, all of my fighters. So you can, you just keep delivering the W, focus on your defense. I know you got a lot of great skills. I know you got a lot of uh, a great team around you. However, this is just me, just me. If by any chance there was any chance that you could get a little bit of help from the purest of boxing school, from Ismael Salas, Pedro Luis Diaz, or now that things are in between both countries are a little better, take a trip down to Cuba for a couple of months. Get you a little bit of training section. It will benefit you. A lot of MMA fighters are doing it and people don't even know about it. They just see them putting up some good boxing skills inside a cage, you know? But they don't know that they're down there training. I think that if you apply your skills the way you've been applying it, if you can make 
you know, slightly adjustments to your defense, I think you're going to be a very tough fighter to deal with. I think you're going to be a fighter that's going to be tough to even think about you. To Brandon Vera, I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know what to say. Uh, anyways, um, like I said, I just did this video right now real quick because I could just now start a fight. But uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. My Instagram is rangers underscore IG. Follow me there as well. And you can share this video on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you want. Till next time, subscribe, drop your comments. I'm out.